This is it, America. This is it. Folks, uh, this is uh, Invest Now America. Very important podcast. Hope a lot of people please like, subscribe, share uh, this podcast with as many people as possible. I do have a Facebook page. It's called Invest Now America. It's just a good place to go to get some solid information, solid financial information. Uh, information that could be used to improve your life for the better. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about two things really, the so-called racial wealth gap in the United States of America, and I'm also going to talk about a black company that is publicly traded that people should do some research on. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not saying to people you should buy this, you should buy that. What I am saying to people is, hey, do your own due diligence, do some research, and definitely check out some of the books um, I am highly recommending. First of all, folks, let's deal with this issue of the racial wealth gap. Um, it's it's well documented. You know, black families as a whole have substantially more wealth than than black families um, as a whole. And so, there are different uh, proposals that certain people have put on the table. A lot of the uh, the black left, the black radicals, the black anti-Americans, they put on the table that, oh, we need reparations, oh, we need more government um, more government programs, more money for government programs, etc. And all that is absolutely uh, wrong and absurd. Sure, there's a minimum of uh, effort that should come from the government, but it should not come from the government in the way of reparations. That's patently absurd. I used to be part of the reparations movement, and I'm telling you, you know, I know what reparations is all about. I know what, it's all about destroying America, period. It's all about turning America into a, a, a socialist dictatorship. That's the bottom line. But uh, we're not here to talk about or debate reparations. Uh, more government programs is not the issue. You know, go from uh, LBJ's Great Society up to now. Calculate all the money that's been thrown into social programs, and it has not substantially moved black America forward as far as their black family wealth is concerned. People, wealth is really a very simple matter. It's hard. It takes effort to build wealth, but wealth in and of itself is relatively simple. It is where you own more assets than you than liability. It's where you own more than you owe. So let's say, for example, you may have a, let's say, a $2 million house. So therefore, people say, oh, he's he's wealthy. He or she's wealthy. They got a $2 million house. Well, no, if if their liabilities come to a million and a half, then they are negative $500,000 in the hole. And that's a heck of a hole. But if you have, let's say, a house and it has... Uh, let's say it's valued at $40,000, free and clear, $40,000. And you, let's say you got a car. It's a used car. Let's say it's worth 1000 But you have no debts. Hey, you're $41,000 ahead. That's your net worth. That's your wealth. And then the way you really become wealthy is when your money makes money. And sometimes that money starts making money, Okay. So you can call that passive income or residual income, but the point is you're buying an asset and that asset is either going to increase in value or it's going to produce money for you, okay? It's just that simple. One way you can you can build wealth for yourself, really, when you build wealth, there are two things you have to do simultaneously. One, get out of debt, stay out of, stay out of debt, get out of debt. And the other thing you have to do is buy assets, that either appreciate in value or put money in your pocket. It's simple. And one great asset you can buy are, is stocks. You can buy stocks in publicly traded companies, publicly traded companies like uh, Carver Bank or Carver Bank Corp. Okay? Um, let me tell you something, folks. There are no racial barriers whatsoever that keep black folk from buying stock in Carver Bank, Kroger, Ford, you name it. There's nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. There is, uh, there's almost no barrier to any black person in the United States of America 
that keeps them from buying common stocks. They can buy stocks on Wendy's, McDonald's. I mean, you, I mean, there are literally thousands of companies you can decide on. Index funds, mutual funds. If you got $5 in a debit card and you know how to fill out an application online, you can start a stock account right now. And I've, 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 I've helped people do start uh, stock accounts, particularly young people. I've helped their, I work with their parents in uh, helping them get their uh, sons or daughters' custodial accounts. Not one time have I ever come across an application that asks for the person's uh, race. Not one time. The stock market is colorblind, folk. It don't care what you are. That's it. If Kroger, if you you've got ten shares of Kroger and the value of Kroger goes up, stock value goes up. It goes up for everybody who owns Kroger stock. If it goes down, it goes down for everybody who owns Kroger stock. If it's uh, paying a, uh, you know, if it's paying a dividend, that dividend's paid for everybody. Everybody gets that dividend. Ideally, you know, you know after your first billion, you should pay like a- everybody. Everybody gets that dividend. Everybody. I mean, that's it. I mean, the stock market is colorblind, period. A lot of times black folks say they want to get into real estate, and that's a great thing. I mean, real estate is is produced all sorts of millionaires time and time again. And one way you can do that, and a person never know what color skin you are, they don't care if you're black, white, Mexican, Japanese, Filipino, they don't care, is you go through real estate investment trusts. Go check that out. Do some research on that. Go to YouTube.com, put in Real Estate Investment Trust, and learn about that. You can literally get in, get in the, uh, you become a, a, an investor through real estate, indirectly through real estate, through buying uh, real estate investment trusts, stocks and real estate investment trusts. You know, that kind of stuff is colorblind. So here's what I here's my message to black folk in America. Don't get up and don't get wrapped up in this whole so called racial wealth gap. All oh, white folks owe us owe us this, that, and this. All the, the, the white folks in the government, they owe us this, that, and this. No, man, do for self. Do for self. One, understand what actually constitutes wealth and then under, and then pursue it. I mean it's 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 just that simple. Now, it's not easy. You know, for some people, it's, it's easier for others. But, I mean, that's just the way it's done. So, having said that, I want to uh, introduce folks to Carver. Carver Bank, that's a, a black-owned bank. It's uh, based up there in Harlem, New York. Uh, right now, Carver's not doing too well. But it's uh, it's an institution that I th- really think people should, uh, uh, black folk in particular, should consider buying. Right now, it's around eh, four, four and a half, five dollars a share. Is that going to get better? I don't know. Is it going to get worse? I don't know. Uh, what I I have been studying Carver Bank for the past year as an institution. I think Carver is pretty solid. I think it's going to be around for a good many uh, many years, uh, but it obviously it, it does need some more capital. And so, I would urge people if you're really serious about seeing more black folk do better as far as the whole uh, wealth thing is concerned. Um, you know, buy Carver, consider buying Carver stock. Do research on Carver Bank. Don't buy the stock until you've done some research. And just, you know, then make a decision, make an informed decision. I'm not telling you to buy Carver stock, and I'm, t- I'm not telling you not to buy Carver stock. What I am saying to black folk is that as a people, if we want to keep moving up and keep moving forward, we have to be focused on building institutions, not giving tens of millions of dollars to an organization or a movement that that wants to destroy and take from other folk. We need to be building up institutions like Carver Bank. Carver Bank offers black folk important financial services. We need to be looking at building them up. So do your research in Carver Bank. There's one company that's done a um, I tell you, you can go to Ameritrade. I don't think you have to have an account to get information on Carver Bank, but go to Ameritrade. 
um, put in the stocker um, ticker symbol CRV, and then it will pull up information on Carver Bank. You can go to Yahoo Finance. There, again, put in the ticker symbol CARV, and it will bring up Carver Bank, and you'll learn about Carver Bank. Um, here's I got one research report. Here's the way they describe Carver Bank. Carver Bancor Inc. operates as a holding company for Carver Federal Savings Bank that provides consumer and commercial banking services for customers, businesses, nonprofit organizations, and governmental and quasi-governmental agencies, primarily in New York. Now, I've got a few shares in Carver, and it's been going up. That's just sort of common with... uh, with uh, you know the stock market nowadays, um, boy, I I I'm not a wealthy person by any stretch of the imagination. You know, I struggle like everybody else, but I have some faith in Carver. And uh, ideally, you know, after your first, I have been, you know, putting money into it here and there. Um, but trust me, folks, I I did my research on the company first. There's one thing I've learned. Uh, in reading Warren Buffett and uh, Peter Lynch. And what I've learned is that you don't buy the stock, you buy the company. So I have been buying the company. I have faith in the company. But you need to do your own research and see if you have uh, faith in the company, You know, if you think it's worth putting your hard-earned money into that company. Uh, my decision so far is that it has been. And uh, I urge other people, you know, again, I keep emphasizing this, but I have to emphasize this. Do your, do your research. Do your own due diligence. Let me tell you something, folks. Um, when it comes to improving your financial situation and, and trying to build some wealth, it's going to take some effort in your part as far as um, doing research is concerned and keeping on top of things and reading an article here, reading an article there. Wealth is not something that's just thrown on your lap. I mean, that's just ridiculous to think that way. That's not the way it works. You know, you ever notice like with lottery winners, they win a lot of money, $5 million, $10 million, $100 million. Majority of those people lose that money within a few years because they don't do the research. You know, they're not reading books, not reading articles. They don't do the research. They just think, oh, this is this the way wealth is. It just It's just thrown on my lap. No, that's ridiculous. One of the greatest uh, uh, wealth building and self improvement books in in history. I mean, it's over 100 years old. And it's a book that's called "Think and Grow Rich." Think and Grow Rich, folks. Think and Grow Rich. I think it's telling you something. Okay. By the way, if you want to copy that book, go to Better World Books. Go to Better World Books. I, I buy a lot of my books from Better World Books. When you buy from Better World Books. They, in turn, use part or all of their profits to, um, part of their profits to send books to libraries around the world that need them. So when you buy books at Better World Books, not only are you helping yourself, but you're also helping other folks. You just make a, a you know, whenever you purchase from them. And uh, let me tell you, it's, it's a good company to deal with. But anyway, let me get back here to Carver Bank. Uh, their ticker symbol is C-A-R-V. C A R V. Go to Yahoo Finance. You go to Meritrade. Uh, I don't know if it's you. You might be able to go to Stockpile.com and do do some research in that uh, in that company. Okay, folks, this is a, it. Best Now America podcast. I'm your host. Appreciate it. Please check out my Facebook page. Follow that. And again, you know, we just give some good financial information there.